Hey, where have you been? Yeah. I've been looking for you all around this restaurant. Getting yeah. buzzed, yeah. man. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're here at Citizen Eatery in Austin, Texas. And what are we going to try? After she finishes her drink. Some delicious mocktails. Thank you very much. Cucumber mule. So refreshing. You told me that there was delicious burgers here, but we're at a vegan restaurant. Absolutely. They have some of the best burgers and you wouldn't even know that they're vegan. Oh. So, ready to take a challenge and try them? Yeah, I'll be the judge of that. Shall we go? Yeah. Let's buzz on out of here. Oh my gosh. This is Explore Vegan ATX. Amy. And I'm Mike. And we, we own Citizen Eatery. Eatery. The inception of the idea does go back over a decade and it really started with Amy noticing that there weren't a lot of uh, sort of healthy options in town to just whip in and get something healthy. It was more, it started out as like a drive through thing. It was going to be quick like veggie burgers, you know, fast food veggie burgers. And, Mom's on the go. And since then, over the years, it had the opportunity to evolve and grow into what we have now. Because our menu is pretty diverse. You, you can go really, really super clean, or you can do like our burgers, you know, you can do more of a comfort food vibe. And, uh, and we have a full bar with some amazing hot dogs too. One of the things I've heard a lot from our guests when they're here, especially large groups, is how excited they are to be able to um, all eat in the same restaurant together. So we have our paleos that can eat here, we have our gluten-free people that can eat here, we have our vegans, you know, we have our flexitarians who just are trying to get more plants in their body. And so I think that's what sets us apart is that we're using all the other proteins that other restaurants are not using as much. A lot of our return customers, they come back for our tumbleweed. So what our tumbleweed is, it's, it's deep fried, it's awesome, can't go wrong. What we do is we have organic zucchini noodles and we dust them really lightly with a little rice bran flour and we flash fry them in rice oil. And so that's a big return thing. Our most popular item since day one has been the Citizen Burger. It's our signature dish. Gluten-free vegan pancakes are unusual and delicious. People come in for those all the time. And uh, since we started carrying the Just product, the Just Egg product back in October, it's really, really taken off because this product has completely pulled off replicating eggs. And it's delicious, it's packed with protein, and it's very versatile, and we do some cool stuff with that. I think people come in too because of what we use in our ingredients. We use rice oil, we use olive oil, coconut oil, so we're not using any canola or high fructose corn syrup, artificial colors, flavoring, sweeteners. Um, we use apple cider vinegar, so people may not know they're eating, that healthy, but their bodies know, and their bodies bring them back. They feel good after they eat here. I don't believe in coincidences. I know we're here for a reason. We have a purpose, and we're building our tribe and our community, and people are coming back, and they're bringing their tribe, and it's just, it's, it's organically growing. We're not a trend. We're not hip for a little while. We're here for good. So this is the chorizo almonds, one of their most popular menu items. Yes. We have some avocado and arugula oh, and they talked about their just egg product I yes. don't really know so just egg is this new product it's very revolutionary and what they basically use is mung bean flour um, oh. for an egg substitute but okay. what just egg has done really well is um, they've added that like sort of like sulfury uh, taste to it I don't think eggs are sulfury eggs are actually it's my one of my is my favorite food. I love eggs. I eat eggs every day. Okay. And this, like, if I saw this right now, I'd be like, oh, I'm giving an egg. That's well, let's, what I would think. Let's give it a whirl. I'm gonna what put, do you think? I'm gonna put the ketchup right here. Okay. He does not like ketchup. Learn something new every day here at Explore Vegan ATS. We're gonna try this Spanish omelet. Got some, like, salsa verde on the top here. go. I get some arugula, so I get some of that spicy, bitter. I love it. It has that smoky consistency, and it does have like a very egg-like egg consistency as well. Right? You, so you need to eat eggs. I you have in right. the past. Yes, absolutely. Great. So this definitely has a mouthfeel of egg, and like from the texture to the bite to even the taste of it. So it 
Yeah, it's like it's, I'm like surprised. I I don't know if I would be fooled. Let me take some more bites. Of there looks like they they put a sort of vegan cheese as well, which I always love. This is like a really creamy, cheesy consistency, mm -hmm. which I really like. And this this um, chorizo is so. This is one of the best, um, I guess, um, substitute meat things I've ever had because sometimes yeah. it's the. Uh, yeah, I don't like a lot of them, but yeah, this one is... Yeah, because you just started eating them. Yeah, this the one is chew, good. The chew and the texture. I'm almost like, oh yeah, I'm eating the meat. <laughs> it's happening. So good. It is good. And I don't like the taste of egg very much, but this really? actually... Can't be friends. I know. What? After I eat this. After you eat the, the omelet, yes. But I like it. I think it, it really has like a good taste to it. It's not super eggy for me, which I kind of like. Like I don't like that aftertaste. That I don't know what aftertaste he's talking about. It tastes like sulfur. Apparently, it like sulfur. You're getting your eggs from the sulfur chickens. I don't know. <laughs> that was delicious. So well, coming what? here, would you would you be happy with this? Like, would they, would you get that? Sort of meaty texture craving that you want satisfied? Yeah, because like, so I love breakfast food. I love, love, love breakfast food. So um, Amy was telling me too in the kitchen that they actually they smoke all their stuff in house with apple wood chips, and they used to do it in their home kitchen. So for a few years, their kitchen smelled like apple wood, but it like smelled like barbecue. Interesting. So, like, I would. It did. The kitchen was so nice and had a wonderful smoky smell. Mm. And they use it for all their burgers, so you still get that authentic mm -hmm. sort of smoked taste that you want. Can we talk about this cheese? Right? Can we talk about this cheese? It's not your your grocery store vegan cheese that okay. you normally yeah, do not like. It has such a man, it has such a great like umami taste of cheese. And the mouthfeel, that's the part of the reason I can't do some of those substitute cheeses because my, my mouth knows and then tells my tongue <laughs> and then it makes me want to mm. because I am, cheese is my best friend. You heard it here. But it, like, this, what's, what's happening? I know. We'll have to ask them if it's, they, sometimes, um, this is witchcraft. <laughs> it's creamy, it, it's melty, it doesn't have that, like, and, and weird eat, aftertaste right. that some of those vegan cheeses have. I eat them because I have to. Well, <laughs> wow. But this one tastes like cheese. Well, it's so nice. And also some of the vegan cheeses I've seen or had, like once the first melt is fine, and then when yep. it kind of gets cold and you try to remelt it, or it has a, it has a minute to sit, it it loses. It's a little hard. Yeah. <laughs> like a rock. <laughs> it loses that you know, the elasticity or it kind of just congeals and then you can't re-melt. Should we go to this burger? Yeah. Because I'm, I'm ready for a burger. I'm ready to. We both worked out this morning. The tumbleweed and the Spanish omelet were not enough for us. We need to eat a burger. You know how Don't we judge. Do. Don't I judge. I am cutting it in half. Don't worry. I am going to give him half. I want the bigger piece. I always get the smaller piece when it comes to this. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you two feelings come out now. I just love burgers, and I love a good vegan burger. Okay, so and so like all these like chain chains are now doing the Impossible Burger and the vegan burger. So, so I know have you citizen, tried? Have you tried all those? Do you I haven't, like and the reason is they, they usually use the same griddle as um, they use for right. for other ones, which makes you feel a little. Yeah, you can ask them to boil it. I haven't tried it. Check that out. It's meaty. Thanks. This is great. Good feel. The bun feels good. This nice and toasty. Onions look nice and caramelized. We got some. Got some aioli uh, going on here. All right. While she describes it, I'm gonna eat it. Mm. What do you think? Got a lot of texture to it, which I like, and I can definitely taste that 
smoke sort of mm -hmm. taste that she was talking about, that applewood smoke mm -hmm. barbecue feel. I want some fries. You're right, there's something about this burger. I made a lot of my own black bean burgers with quinoa and things like that, and I eat them out. Um, a lot of times when you get those like black bean burgers and things, they kind of like fall apart. And this mm -hmm. one is like so hearty. And I like the big bites I can take. <laughs> I will say that all of the, the non-meat items that getting right yeah. yeah they're for a non-vegan they're so um they're satisfying you in a way that like it's as if like this is just food this is just food right because a lot of people who are non-vegan here vegan and they start to scream and cry right but this is like this is delicious are you gonna eat this uh yes <laughs> this is so good Sorry. I'm Dana. I'm Mayhole. This is Explore Being an ATX. And we're at Citizen Eatery. Mm. Stay tuned for more episodes. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hey, 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 hey. Eat your own. <laughs>